All right, so we have Lord Mac Kent asking, what shirt is the easiest for a great kilt? Uh, he wears great kilts every day and wants something every day? easy. That's what he's saying. Dude. He's wearing it every day. Okay. Uh, he wants something that's like hard wear, a hard-wearing shirt that can be worn multiple times. Without washing? I'm well, going to assume there's going to be a, I'm hoping some he's, washing in there. Okay, washing okay. Clothes. Multiple times. <laughs> yeah, it's... Um, the... Anything. Yeah. Really. Well, if he's wearing it with a great kilt. He wants something that looks more antique or you know, Yeah. Something a bit more, more 19th to 18th century, I'm yeah. assuming. Highland shirts, okay, they're not historically correct, but they, they fit the aesthetic. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. The grandfather shirts are kind of where I've landed and, the, you know, the company... <laughs> through me has landed on like a cool looking aesthetic that is quasi historical. Um, and it's just got a good feel, um, grandfather shirt, meaning like, uh, you know, the band collar and then a sta- you know, a, a dozen buttons, you know, on in a, the first on a 10 bu- inches on a button placket. Yeah. 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 Um, the, yeah, I'm trying to think what else for, uh, a, a, a great kilt that you'd wear daily. If it's, the daily thing is what's throwing me because I'm used to people wearing them um, either just not caring about the rest of the outfit, like uh, our friend John up in uh, Massachusetts who basically wears gray kilts on a regular basis, and um, he just wears whatever modern clothes he wants yeah. with them. Um, or it's people who are doing it in a more historical or fantasy context like a reenactment or a Ren fair or SCA or something like that. So if you want something that kind of has that rustic, antique feel, um, I would go with either a 18th or 19th century work shirt. Um, I, one of our uh, company we admire because they're kind of on a parallel course to us is Townsend's. They're a subtler company. They have a good selection of uh, work shirts you might want to take a look at. If you're planning on using it on a regular basis like and, and you want something hard-wearing, go for linen. Um, our grandfather shirts, another reason we like them a lot is because they're actually a linen uh, blend. blend fabric. So it's very comfortable but also <coughs> really tough. Uh, you really can't beat linen for, for this stuff. So that's that's probably how I would go. Um, I would advise you to try shirts with buttons. Don't necessarily go with the lace-up front shirt. Um, it gets a little too costumey that way. Might be nice to have in your wardrobe for sometimes, but there are going to be times when you don't want that, you know, I walked out of a Scottish romance novel cover kind of a look. You might want something a little bit more um, practical looking. Yeah, like he, he said he's looking line. for more something more period correct. Yeah, yeah, I, I would check out Townsend's for sure. The yeah. other thing I'd say is, um, probably if you're if you're gonna wear them daily and they're not cheap, I'd say wear an A-frame undershirt um, mm. underneath them just to kind of absorb some of the sweat and oils and yeah. kind of you know keep you cool down there. I will say when you said a period correct work shirt, I'm thinking like ye old Dickies brand. Well, work, work clothing. That's gonna it's be. A, that's, I don't know if that's the kind of look he's going for. No, um, no, no. I'm, I'm very, just. Yeah. Oh, that's what you're. Okay. Yeah, you're marketing right, yeah, yeah. ye old Dickies. Yeah. Well, that's because you're a '90s <laughs> yes. kid. So yes, it's, all, it's all about Dickies. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, but that's. Oh, and uh, Gentlemen's Emporium or Historical Emporium. Um, I won't vouch for the quality of what they sell there, but they do have a variety of shirts as well that are historically inspired, shall we say. Um, but that's that's how I'd play it and, yeah, uh, and try a couple of different ones. You know, change it up. And unless you are literally like you know, on the Royal Mile reenactor or, you know, that's your full-time gig and you're a docent at a museum and that's how you want to dress, I'd say just just get something that's, like, inspired or looks like it could be historical. It doesn't have to be actually historical. So, like, I wouldn't necessarily wear a T-shirt with a great kilt, but if you wear a grandfather shirt or even a Highland shirt, mm-hmm. to that point, it still looks like it would go that way to 99.99% of people that you're going to interact with on a daily basis unless you're a reenactor. Yeah, or it's uh, there are some shirts out there that which are modern shirts, but they have a softer line to them, um, so they wouldn't look odd with the, the soft lines of a great kilt. Um, I'm thinking like uh, flannel shirts. There's some flannel shirts out there which do not necessarily have the breast pockets on them. Not flannel as in plaid. No, but flannel as the material. <laughs> Usually flannel shirts are sold in plaid, but there are solid color ones also. Yes. That might be a great option for winter. You know, just a nice flannel shirt that's just a solid print, or not print, a solid color uh, without the pockets. That'd be, give you a basic shape and uh, not look too crisp and too modern, but be comfortable. So. Now I'm just thinking like a confused homeless lumberjack <laughs> <laughs> wandering the streets with a great killed on and oh, a God. plaid shirt, maybe oh, Argyle oh, hose man. too. Oh, yeah, man. no. Well, if you're going to go on, you might as well just go all the way. If you're going to go, go. Yeah. 
or get one of those some of those 1850s printed uh, shirts that were popular Ooh. with like the skulls and crossbones and the flags mm -hmm. and the little flowers on kind of stuff. They had some crazy shirts in the 1850s. Really, really like obnoxious. Or, or like cowboy shirts and you know, yeah, like go with some bib fronts. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. No. I think we're slightly off topic. I think we're though. off topic. I think he's. Slightly. I think he's got some ideas. Rabbit holing yeah. a bit. Yes. I hope that helps. I'm, if if you're getting these outfits together, send me pictures. I'd love to see what you come up with. Not of the plaid flannel shirt, though. Yeah, no. 